Hi there, and welcome to the Active Pieces Quick Start video. I'm Jordan, Certified Professor of Vibe Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start building powerful flows and AI agents in just a few short minutes. Alright, let's have some fun. Active Pieces is a robust automation ecosystem. On the left, you'll find the main navigation panel. This is where you access agents, flows, tables, MCP servers, and to-dos. You can also find all of your connections to external apps here. You can connect Active Pieces to over 300 external apps and tools, like LinkedIn, HubSpot, and Google Sheets. We're constantly adding new integrations, so let us know if you'd like to add your favorite app. First, let's talk about flows. Automating repetitive tasks with flows can be a massive time saver. Flows allow you to create powerful workflow automations and connect all of your favorite apps in just a few clicks. No coding required. Every flow needs a trigger, which is an event that starts the flow rolling. Let's take a look at four types of triggers. First is the schedule trigger, which allows you to trigger flows at specific intervals, such as every day or every hour. The webhook trigger is extremely powerful. Simply embed a webhook into your website or app, and the webhook trigger will start the flow whenever a specific event occurs, like when someone submits an inbound form on your website. The human input step lets you set up a custom web form instantly. And the flow triggers when someone submits the form. It also lets you build your own chatbot with ChatUI. Just remember to add the respond on UI step at the end of the flow. You can also have external apps trigger the flow. For instance, you can set up a flow to trigger every time you receive a new email. Feel free to play around with different types of triggers and see what you can come up with. When a flow triggers, it carries out each action sequentially until the flow ends. You can choose from a huge variety of actions, from AI text generation to HubSpot integration. You can connect your external apps after you add a step here, or in the connections panel here. You can easily pass data from earlier steps to later steps using the data selector. Here I'm passing text generated with ChatGPT to the body of an email. Active Pieces lets you use ChatGPT, Claude, and a variety of other LLMs within flows by using the integrated Ask AI step. You can also connect your own ChatGPT or Claude account by copying and pasting an API key. You can check your runs here. Runs will give you a breakdown of everything that happens each time the flow triggers. Now let's talk about agents. Active Pieces is the easiest and fastest way to build powerful AI agents. Agents can be used within workflows to understand data, search for information, or make decisions, adding a layer of intelligence and non-deterministic autonomy to your automations. To build an agent, just click New Agent, give it instructions for how you want it to behave, and give it access to the tools it might need. Then, within a flow, you can tell your agent what you want it to achieve. Our platform lets you decide what tools each agent has access to, as well as what each agent is allowed to do with those tools. For instance, you can decide whether an agent is allowed to modify a Google Doc or simply has permission to read it. You can also enable structured output to make sure each agent delivers the same types of results every time it runs. You can even include multiple agents in the same flow to accomplish complex tasks. Tables and Active Pieces are a great alternative to Google Sheets and other spreadsheet apps. Tables are secure, reliable, and can be used to easily store and update information using your flows. Any flow you build in Active Pieces can easily access and manipulate these tables. Create a new table here, give it a title, and edit it like you would a normal spreadsheet. You can also import and export tables in the .csv format. The MCP panel allows you to set up your own private model context protocol servers. With MCP servers, you can connect AI tools like Claude, Windsurf, and Cursor to external apps. We manage the authentication with your external apps so that the MCP connections are completely secure. 
When you add a connection to an MCP server in Active Pieces, you can choose specific permissions to give to the MCP client. So, if you only want to give Claude permission to send emails from your Gmail account, but you don't want to give Claude permission for custom API calls, that's as easy as a few clicks. Creating multiple MCP servers means you can give different clients access to different tools. If you want to give Cursor access to a database, but you don't want to give Claude that access, multiple MCP servers make this very easy. In Active Pieces, you can also create MCP tools that can be used by Claude and other MCP clients. To do that, simply create a flow with an MCP tool trigger, toggle wait for response, and end the flow with a reply to MCP client step. This means that MCP clients can trigger specific flows if those flows will be helpful to carry out tasks that you ask your MCP client to perform. To do's. The to-dos section is an inbox for tasks that require human approval. A flow can create a to-do item, pause its own execution, and wait for you or a team member to approve the work that's already been done before executing the rest of the flow. For instance, if you've made a flow that automatically replies to inbound emails, the flow can create a draft, notify you in Slack, and wait for your approval before sending the email. Congratulations! Now you're ready to get started with active pieces. See you later, automators.